Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world, as you know, and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use three powerful decks of cards today. We're going to use the Whispering Woods, the Magic of You Oracle because the magic is in you and the Angel cards. So I'm really looking forward to using these decks, I haven't used them for a while, but already we're receiving power. We're receiving the wolf spirit for the divine masculine and the bear, the brown bear for the divine feminine. Now, the brown bear is all about strength and power. But for the feminine, it's about healing, healing the aspects of yourself that cause pain. And remember, yesterday we spoke about how important it is on this journey to forgive, to forgive our twin, but also to forgive ourselves in the situation. And that brings a great healing in, not only for our journey and ourselves, but for the world, because everything has a ripple effect. So the brown bear today is giving you confidence and strength and power to be fearless in the love you have for your twin and to feel fearless about forgiveness. You know, not blame yourself. Don't feel weak because you're forgiving. Feel strong because you're forgiving, because that moves things forward in a positive way. And for the masculine, they are tapping in with the wolf, which is all about telepathy and intuition and cosmic 5D connection and understanding things in a spiritual way. The way they understand the synchronicities and the way they connect with their guides and their angels and even you. So it's all about understanding things on a deeper level for healing and growth. So let's bring these decks in there. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the connection today? And these are keys. Well, I've got angel bumps because keys. So the keys to your union. And that's what you're being given right now. So again, this reading is going to also be a key to your union. What's well, the energy around the feminine? And that's the key. I've got angel bumps. And the energy around the divine masculine. Here we are coming out this deck. Love it. What's the energy, please, from the angels? The Whispering Woods, what's the connection? Thank you. I love it when a lot of cards come out this way because it's very powerful. Energy around the Divine Feminines. What do we need to know? What clear cards, please, angels? There we go. And the energy around the Divine Masculines. What do we need to know? Wow, I'm taking it. The energy or the angel message for the connection today. What do we need to know? There we go. The energy around the Divine Feminines. And the energy around the Masculine. Wow. See, I always check where they're going and what they're doing. Here we go. So let's do this then. So we're going to start then with the energy around the connection. So we've got let love grow. Love it. What a beautiful message. Let love grow. And this love grows. It gets stronger and better every day. And we've got the number 14. And that's about new beginnings that are protected by heaven. Your journey is protected by heaven. Things are blooming right now and growing. And when I'm connecting with this card, look at the picture. We've got, can you see there, you've got a couple in an embrace. But from the masculine's perspective, they're, they're growing. You know, they're blooming and growing. Their mind is blossoming with power. And they're going through a rebirth energy. And this is Lavaria. So the energy here is that the love between you is growing. It's getting stronger. So it grows. It doesn't, you know, get less. It gets more. And in union, it gets more. You know, me and George have been in union for three years now nearly. And every day we love each other more. So the love grows. You know, in some relationships, the love disappears, especially in karmic relationships. But in twin flame union, it grows. And right now your love is growing and blooming. So let it bloom and grow. And we've got which the magic you seek is inside of you. So let it flow. What a beautiful message because... You know, it's also a rhyme, so a little bit of poetry here for you today. It says, let love grow, let it flow. So let that be your mantra today. Let love grow, let it flow. And the way that we let this love grow is by letting it flow. Again, releasing that pressure, not trying to force anything or, you know, stress anything. And I want to write that down. They're guiding me to write it down. So I feel that you should write this down too. Okay, let love grow. Let love grow. And this is what I'm going to call the video. Let it flow. <clears throat> They're giving me fear and blocked energy. So 
if anything is blocked, it's because you may not be letting it flow. You know, you may be trying to control things and you have to let it flow. And the witch is about power. You know, don't think about witch as in a witch with a cauldron casting spells or being evil. Think about a witch who is connected with the earth, who goes into nature, who harnesses the power of the elements like the magician and who creates. The witch is a creator. Like the magician is a magician, a creator of magic and power. So we harness this power. And we've got the number 36 connected with the physical world and having faith in it. Having faith in what you are manifesting in the earthly realm. We've got courage coming through. And again, that lion. I love how we keep seeing the lion because it's connected with the lion's gate portal. And it's about strength and power and moving ahead so we're being given courage right now to let this journey flow and that means sometimes you have to be brave when you take that step back and you say okay I'm not going to reach out I'm not going to contact him I'm going to trust the love and I'm going to allow you to contact me <sighs> scary it's scary to let go of that control but well, that ultimately gives you back your power, divine feminine, because then you focus on you. And then look at this. The miracle comes in. Bees, be power, be happy. The message is all there, very clear. Again, these may be animals that you are seeing right now who are guiding your journey. So you may be seeing the wolf, the bear and the bee and also the lion, which is especially potent for you if you are connected with Leo energy or your twin is, but this is about the Aslan power, you know, Aslan creates magic and miracles in his life, and we've got inner beliefs, and this is Michael for Archangel Michael, so Archangel Michael helping you to remember your truth, and connect with your inner beliefs, and your fire energy, and she's holding a fireball in her hands, because that's about the power of intention, and the passion, and the desire that you guys share, and the angels here, we've got Zafkiel, to, Zaf, to Zadkiel, but what I'm feeling when I'm connecting with them, because remember I work with specific archangels, so these are angels that these deck creators may connect with, but I don't, so you may connect with these angels, but I don't, so I'm connecting here with Archangel Michael and Archangel Zadkiel, who is the angel who helps us to remember who we are and access all the knowledge within to move ahead with confidence with courage and power and faith in miracles. We've got growth. So remember this journey is one of growth. It says the tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. <clears throat> They're giving me again, blocking the throat. So don't be afraid to clear the air and wipe the slate clean and forgive. So remember from a small acorn, a huge tall oak tree will build. So when I think back in my journey and I think about how things were and how things are now, from a small beginning, a huge oak tree has grown, which is my connection with George and my union, but also what I'm doing here on YouTube with you guys and helping you to work towards your union and your service and your mission, building your huge oak tree from something that may start off small. And this is also how we grow on the journey. Well, remember, we start off small as a baby and we grow into an adult and we grow spiritually. So we evolve and grow. And we've got, it says, idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. Now, I love that because emeralds is a really unique crystal and a stone, you know, this like the emerald green power of Archangel Raphael. So a lot of healing energy around this, but also valuable stones, valuable, you know, kind of rocks and power. So it's reminding you of your worth. And the angels are saying there's no idle hours. So in other words, you know, if you feel guilty because you want to take an hour off today or you want to have 10 minutes to yourself away from social media, don't feel guilty about that. OK, and it's not an idle hour. Sometimes on this journey, we feel guilty if we are relaxing. We think we should be doing this or that. This reminds me of my mum because, you know, whenever I used to go round to her house and go in the garden on a sunny day, 
and sit there. She would never just sit down and enjoy the sun. She would be running around in the garden. And I'd say, Mum, just sit down. And she said, no, I feel guilty. I have to weed. I have to cut the grass. I have to do these things. So it's remembering that, you know, if you have time for yourself, if you take a moment to rest and just lie on the grass, it's a very healing thing to do. It's not idle. It doesn't mean you're lazy. And it's the same with the masculines. Remember, if they seem to be idle, which means they may be taking a moment, having a rest, or they don't seem to be doing anything in your eyes. Don't, you know, don't think they're being lazy or don't send guilt at them or because they are doing their work. Sometimes just sitting and thinking is the best way forward you can have. So it's not idle hours. It's hours that work in your favour. Because when we take time out to relax and go in nature, there's a great healing that occurs. And this is also healing the energy of maybe putting them on a pedestal and seeing them as an idol. And they do that to you too. And it's knowing that you are one. And that's the very origin. It says, remember your roots. And this is what Archangel Zadkiel is helping you to do. To remember why you've come and why you're here. And that you were connected. So for the masculine energy... We've got you belong to paradise and this is paradisacial and it's 24. So 24 is about the partnership being protected by angels. But I'm seeing this as what the angels are giving as the information of between 2020 to 2024, moving towards paradise because you belong to that. So the masculines are realizing they belong to paradise. That's you. They're giving me fear. So they've been living in a miserable world because that's of their own making. You know, they've been putting up with those situations and living that lie. And now they are realizing that they belong to paradise. They belong in a happy environment. They belong with you. And with you, there's true heaven on earth, which is paradise. And this is all what's falling into place between now and 2024. And we've got Buho. It says transform the way you see. Number two. So the masculine seeing the number two, 22, 222, two, two, or 2222 two, two, for universal power. I am transforming the way I see, the way they see the world, the way they've seen their life. And look what she's doing. She's rubbing her eyes. So again, Neo waking up from the matrix. What's going on? Yeah, he's never used his eyes properly before. This is why they've been having eye pain and eye issues. Because they're seeing things clearly for the first time in a long time. And commune with the source. This is Minimus 17. So 717, big sign you're on the right path. So the masculines are communing. That means they are connecting with, communicating with source, with their higher power, with angels. And the opportunities are coming in. Unfurl, and this is your masculine, unfurl like a fern even without warm sunlight. So even without you there, they are unfurling. You know, they are coming into awareness of who they are. The angels are guiding them. So remember, you're that warm sunlight that they crave. You're that paradise energy that they belong to. But they are also finding their way, even if you're not there. So that's why you're being reminded that it's okay to pull back. They're gaining strength. So there's that lion again. The lion energy here. When, you, when your roots are deep, and remember the origin is about the root running deep. It's about where you come from and where you're going and who you are. It says when your roots are deep, you need not fear the storm. So the roots are the connection, the connection between you and them, the love, the power of it. When you feel the roots are so deep, you won't fear the storm because you know you can handle it. You know, the trees don't worry when the storms come in. Because their roots keep them planted in the ground and secure and safe. And your connection is built on rock and stone, not something that's going to get washed away in a storm. So Archangel Gable is bringing purpose into the masculine's life between now and 2024 to help them to work on their purpose, to understand why they've come. And they're being called to action. Look at that trumpet there. Some of the masculines are also musicians or have a you know, power with music here. But this has shown you they're being called to action. Archangel Honiel bringing in romance. And Honiel is the angel of peace and grace. It says grace of God. So 
you know, the grace of God is guiding them to you. They realize who you are. To them, you are their goddess. You are paradise to them. And you are their inspiration. You know, so Honiel is coming in, bringing in this power of purpose to inspire them and guide them. And Gabriel's tapping them in with their intuition. Again, the wolf spirit and their wisdom. So I'm really feeling Archangel Zachiel. And again, they give me this little block in the throat there or this gulp because it's still scary for the masculines to embrace this side of themselves. And that's why it takes time. But Archangel Gabriel is giving them the power. And Archangel Zachiel is tapping them in with their truth, the very root of who they are. And Archangel, they're giving me as well. I mean, I've got so many angels coming through. But Archangel Orion helping them to believe in their truth. So feminines, you've got the key. And we've got vertigo. So remember, vertigo is connected with nausea, feeling a bit off balance, feeling dizzy and maybe a little bit sick. And this journey is going to throw you around, especially while you adjust to the keys of your journey. So if you feel disoriented or disorientated today, if you feel a bit off balance, that's why. Vertigo. And you're also being reminded to see things from a higher point of view. We have to go higher. Some of us as well on this journey are a little bit fearful of heights. And the reason why is because we have to go higher to see clearly. So this is also the reminding me as well of past lives. And, you know, some of us have been thrown off buildings or been hung. Or we've been through, you know, like deaths in previous lifetimes where we have dealt with highness. Okay. It's like we've been pushed off a pedestal. Because we've been leaders. So what they're showing me is these are also things being healed from previous lifetimes. And I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit afraid of heights going very high up. Okay. And that's connected with a previous lifetime that's been healed. Maybe you love heights. If you love being high up, if you're an adrenaline junkie or you like jumping out of planes or going on roller coasters or anything like that, you know, you were kind of searching for that that high and that power because you know your truth. So whether you like heights or you don't, we have to fly high to see things from a higher perspective. But the energy is, whatever you choose will be correct. So in other words, all paths lead home. Whatever way you choose to go to your union will be the right way to your union. So remember that there is no wrong, there's only your right. And you're always guided on the right path. Even when we're on the wrong path, we're on the right road. So we go into the woods sometimes to understand and learn. It says, be like the woods, be calm, soothing, mysterious and full of life. And that's you. That's why your masculines are so attracted to you. Because you are mysterious and you soothe them. And you are full of life, like the woods. You know, when we go into the woods, it's so exciting. Because it's magical and mystical and we associate it with magic like fairy energy. We've got flow. And remember, let love grow and let it flow. Go with the flow as water trickles down the stream. Do not hurry. So you don't need to rush divine feminine. You don't need to force anything. And remember, friendship is key. So along the journey, you know, we find friendships with people we may not have met. You know, if we hadn't have gone into separation or if we hadn't been struggling. You know, I'm lucky enough to know all of you. Without my twin flame journey, I wouldn't be here. So this is how we meet unlikely friendships along the way. The most unlikely friendships can form like variegated lichens on hard rock. They create a tight bond. And you and your twin have got a tight bond. And you and your soul sisters and your soul brothers have got tight bonds. And also change. It says falling leaves do not signify the end, but the beginning of a fruitful season. So again, remember those trees don't stress out when they lose the leaves because they know something else is going to grow back better. And look at this again, amazing energy here, forgiveness. Forgiveness again. So the angels really getting this across. It's so important right now to forgive, to bring about that change. So again, the key to your union is forgiveness, healing, trusting in the love and power and letting the love grow by letting the love flow. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.